What is going on guys? Sean here again, Fair Brotherhood. This is another episode of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. It's been so fucking awesome. I thank you guys for your constant support and constantly subscribing and constantly liking and all this stuff. You guys are the fucking best. I think I should just get that out there right at the beginning of this episode so that you all know you're fucking awesome. Anyway, let's go back into Dragon Walker. Right now we're into the what if scenarios of all this stuff we got to see bardock come back to earth as if he never died against frieza and he beat the shadow of rabbits as a good parent should because Raditz is a douche and now what the hell I, I don't remember this one being here the sands arrived i guess that changed after i played as bardock so let's see begin situation. Hey, imagine bardock's part of the z wars against vegeta and napa that'd be cool i hope this, that's what this one is the sands arrive what is different that we don't know already there's just under a year before the two Saiyans arrive on Earth. Each spent their days practicing, with Gohan training under Piccolo, Krillin under Kami, and Goku under King Kai. The time passed them by quickly, and before they knew it, the battle was upon them. At 11.43 in the morning, the Saiyans broke through the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> They call this place Earth, right? It's not as bad as I was expecting. First, we need to find the one who killed Raditz, and then find those Dragon Balls. Okay, Nappa, let's go have some fun. Damn, that music is badass. They're finally here. You know, I was wondering what changed, because so far nothing has changed. Uh, Vegeta and Nappa have showed up at the same time, so what's different? There's nothing to fear. We're nothing like we were a year ago. Okay, yeah. I should press triangle on this saga to see what changed. Uh, hey, good to see you again, Piccolo. What's with this? It's just you? What are you doing here? Did you come to get in our way? Don't talk like that. I might not be much, but I've gotten stronger too. Uh, yeah, go on being trained by Piccolo. We already know this, guys. Yeah, oh, thank God there's no voice acting here, because then we'd have to hear Kai Gohan. And you all know how much I hate Kai. I hate Kai and GT, but Kai definitely more than GT. Oh, fuck, they found us that early? Haha, here they are. Looks like you are waiting on us. Just to be clear, tell us, why have you come? Our main goal is a Dragon Balls, hand them over. I don't care if you're Namekian, just one of us is nothing but a fly to us. How, how about you test me and find out, bitch? Uh, well, technically Piccolo didn't say that, but he should've. So I suppose you don't tell us to, intend to tell us about the Dragon Balls, we have to face Sideman, okay. Let's see, what has changed so far? Do I, I know I should change the team, Oh fuck. All right, one guy came out the ground in the ocean. That, give him a fucking medal, because I don't know how the hell he did that. Give them pain, Cybermen. Let's see, okay, this is where you get to What? I get to be a Cyberman versus Cyberman? Alright, Cyberman it is. Here we go. What, babe, what? The Falling Star is not an actual history Dragon Ball, but what if a scenario? Wait, what's what's happening here? What, a lone Cyberman decided to change sides and murder, uh... Oh, fuck, move, move! Aw, oh, bullshit, you traitor. I want you to just want to live my own life. I'm sick of being pawn. What in the world are they saying? Die! Or key key, bring it on, bitch. Wow, so Gohan is my alternate, and I get to be a Cyberman who just wants to finally no longer be a pawn. I like this revolution stuff, but it's just so un- I don't know. How many Cybermen did Nappa plant? That has me a shit ton for like one to be a, a revolutionist all of a sudden. I mean, my god. All right, this one Simon's going down. Don't worry, other Simon, buddy. I'll save you. Huh? I don't know. This is kind. Of, I love the idea of like bad guys becoming heroes because that's always cool to see. Um, once enemies become allies, that's what Goku loves to do. He loves to see bad guys who were once his enemies become friends who want to keep fighting forever and ever and stuff. So I would not mind a Simon being a good guy, but it's just oh fuck, I had to fight two in a row because I went. I forgot how to move. I was using the um, D-pad instead of the analog stick. But yeah, as for Cyberman, I don't know how, unless he gets smarter, like he hangs out with Bulma and Dr. Brief and he becomes smarter by reading books and shit. Him saying key key all the time, unless Piccolo can understand him, I don't know, because they're both green, I'm racist, I'm sorry. But if that's the only way he can be understood, he's not really that useful. And also, I don't think his power level is ever going to change, or maybe he can, I don't know. He was grown out of the ground and he was already level of, I guess, damn, the weakest thing for all we know. He was the same level as Raditz, so... Maybe it's time for improvement. There we go. 
I will switch as to play as the Cyberman character, so this isn't just me playing as Gohan and being overpowered. Alright, Gohan, grab your damn fruit and let the Cyberman take a start. Why the hell did the tomatoes all fall in areas that were not near me? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, that is bullshit! He used a, a trap. What the fuck? He used a trap thing to hold me? Oh, that is bullshit. How is. Oh, Simon's gotta whoop his ass. There we go. Punch you, punch you. Wow. Okay, this is. It feels kind of weird because he's so small. Well, it's technically like playing as Chaosu at this point, but. Yeah, Simon, you have your revolutionary powers. There you go. And oh, team up with Gohan, you are awesome. He's, he's not dead? Alright. Punch! Yeah, there you go. He is the mightiest of all. He should at least have some tattoos to distinct himself. Because, I mean, Piccolo has, has his awesome-ass outfit. Nail has his own outfit. Every other Namekian on Planet Namek had the same clothing. So, they need to make this Cyberman have, like, some cool-ass tattoos. Like, give him the, um, curse mark from Naruto. That'd be cool. Oh, uh, there's Nap. Okay, now we get to fight. Let's see what they say. Hey, you Cyberman, you traitor. Kiki, I just want to live my own life. I'm sick of just being okay. Says anything. What are you talking about? You have a complaint? Nap can understand him, huh? <laughs> He's scary. Don't hurt that side, but I can beat you up myself. Oh, you showing a lot of nerve. I'm gonna enjoy this. All right, imagine this Cyberman's the deciding factor between Goku and Vegeta during these fights. If it leads up to that, I'm gonna fucking die of laughter. All right, Nappa, I'm gonna whoop your ass in name of my revolution. The Cyberman thing. I don't even know what the fuck to call it. Guys, come up with a good name for a Cyberman's revolution or a union or whatever the fuck they're doing. I'm thinking. Actually, Simon are all, the only thing that relates to Simon right now. I'm thinking of Young Justice. If you guys even know what that is, because it's been gone for so long, it should still be on. God damn it. But anyway, in Young Justice, there was the uh, clones made by the uh, Genomes. Yes, they were the fucking awesomeness stuff. They're like mutant lizard combination things, but they were so cool. And these Simon are technically the same way, but Genomes were smarter. They had telepathy and shit. These guys can't even speak English, so I don't know. Let me... Yes, full power energy wave. I really hope my final isn't a suicide attack, because, wait, gotta press start here. It's high speed rush, alright, acid, after image, Cyberman bomb. Shit, that's gonna kill me. Alright, well. You know, I don't mind doing that to Nappa if we're about to win, but I think. Oh, wait, is the other Cyberman dead? Good job, Gohan. Yep, team up here. There we go. Yeah! Oh, what the hell? I missed. Oh, uh, maybe because he was too close. Damn, Nappa's exhausted after fighting these guys. This is why this Simon gets to deserve to live, because he can defeat Nappa. I mean, shit. B rank, come on! Just like college all over again. <laughs> Nothing but bees. Even though I'm kind of, I'm very happy about that, guys. I'm glad I'm not failing in any classes. Uh, stand against Nappa. How dare you injure me, you swine! Look at that. He's got yellow aura. He could be turning Super Saiyan here for all we know. Okay, Brad, say your goodbyes. Ah, uh, is Cyberman gonna jump in the way? Die! Yes. He went out as a hero would. Cyberman! Run, Gohan! Why did you save me? You accepted me even though I was your enemy. This was the first time I could fight for myself. Good. So this is freedom. Don't die, Gohan. Wow. I don't... I still don't know what you're saying, but... Oh, wow, that's kind of fucked up, but... Because they're for f sad to funny. Cyberman, you'll pay for this! <laughs> the little punk, like, you can't do anything against the mighty Nappa. Oh, man, that's pretty... Even though it's supposed to be Piccolo's time to shine, it's nice to know that that's how his story arc would end for, like, the Cyberman. He chooses Gohan, the son of Goku, the most happy and accepting guy around. He's Goku is the most non-racist character I've ever seen. He loves fighting anybody. He doesn't, he doesn't even mention how they look. Well, at least most of the time. I'm thinking of Team 4 Star version. They, he always mentions how they look, but in Dragon Ball Z, I don't remember him ever actually mentioning someone's look before fighting or their appearance-wise. So, Goku was always happy. He was happy to fight anybody. And he, like even when he met Beerus, he didn't even call him a cat or like anything like that. He just thought, oh shit, another strongest fighter. Our god. So he wants to fight him. Goku is just like accepting all around. And everyone else in Dragon Ball Z is pretty racist. They Every time they see Piccolo, they think, oh, wow, he's just so weird. But they have a dog as president, so I don't know, or king, or mayor, or emperor. I don't even know what the fuck that guy is. And they just don't question it at all, so... Yeah, DBZ World is racist, except for Goku. He makes it all happy and stuff. And Nappa, you're dying here, man. 
Fuck you. I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna kill you first and leave the Cyberman for last. Because that's how much you suck. But at least the Cyberman got his, like... Since he was a weak character, he shows up, he does, like, his own moments. It reminds me so much of, like, Rolo from Code Geass. If you guys haven't watched Code Geass, I'm sorry about that. If it's kind of, it's technically not a spoiler, because I haven't said much about it, but... You should watch Code Geass, and if you do that, if you do watch it, or if you have already watched it, you'll see that Rolo really reminds me of this guy's of the Sidemen character at this point. Here we go, and power up again. Oh, what the fuck is he doing? Okay, ah, doesn't matter. Wild Rush Blaster. Hit him, hit him. Yes. Circle button. Sidemen can't beat me in this. There we go. And this is a good way to end it. This is cinematic as hell. Oh, that's what I should use on Nappa. And in the distance, you can see Nappa's body. <laughs> oh, that was fucking good. S rank, yeah, that felt good. Because it was a revenge for the Cyberman. S for Cyberman! <laughs> I miss him already. Ugh, <laughs> my kidneys. How could I be done in by Brad like this? And wow, he killed Nappa like that? Is Vegeta even gonna show up or nah? Cyberman, I did it. I avenged you. Cyberman! This is the story of a warrior who fought for his freedom and his friend. Yeah, that makes sense. But, yo, Vegeta just, he doesn't give a shit, and Gohan became so powerful that he murdered Snappa. How? Well, I gotta do the rest of this stuff. Well, it says I have to, but I just don't want to. At least I got to play as a side, and that was the only twist in that. So I think I can end this episode off here, because I think the next one's going to be pretty long, depending on who they're going to make me play as. If I get to play as Yajirobe and the ultimate decisive battle, I'm pretty sure this is Vegeta and Goku, so if I get to play as Yajirobe, I'm probably going to fucking die a lot, so I don't want that to be a very long episode. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. Thank you guys so much for watching these episodes. Please give a like and a favorite. It always helps a lot. Thank you guys for constantly viewing, and to all you guys who continue to subscribe, and all you subscribers who have already been here, you guys are the fucking best. Thank you guys so much. And as always, stay gold, guys. Peace.